Okay, I'm going to show you how to solve a nonogram puzzle. Nonogram puzzles can be found by going to Google and searching for the word nonograms or I'm at a site that is www.puzzle-nonograms.com In a nonogram puzzle you have a grid of white squares. They need to all be filled in with either a black square or you can put a red X in to show that there's not a black square. And the red X is really help you to keep track of where things aren't. Um, now, a trick that I like to use, I look for a number that is bigger than half of the distance across. The distance across is 10. Well, half of 10 is 5, so I look for single numbers that are bigger than 5. Well, 7 is bigger than 5. Now, I know that seven of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven boxes in this row are going to be filled in black. But I don't know if it's these seven. It might be these seven. It might be these seven. And it might be these seven. So I don't know which seven it is. But a trick that I use is I count across from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I count across from right to left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I know that everything in between those two black squares has to be filled in. In order to have seven in a row, those four have to be filled in. Next thing, I'll look for, here's nine. Same thing. Nine of these are filled in. I don't know which nine, basically I'm going to have a white one on this end or a white one on that one, on the right end, that's all I know. But I'll use my trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'll count across the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I know that everything in between these two squares has to be filled in. Now, either this one is black or this one is, but I don't know which one. Um, any other? Well, here's a seven right here, so I'll go ahead and do the same trick going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll fill in everything in between. And here's a seven. Let's do the same, tr well, it'll be those same four numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squares, not numbers. And I'll count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everything in between here is filled in. Now, we'll look up and down and see if we can find anything um, that we can use to get some more squares filled in. Well, for example, right here, I know that if there's only seven in a row with no spaces, I know this one can't be a space. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have six in a row. That's not enough to do anything, but I'm at least closer. I can't do anything here with this one. But with this one, I know that I'll have two black, a white, I mean two black, a space, and then one black. Well, there's two black, so I'll put my space. Here again, two black. All there is in this column is two black. So I can fill in the entire rest of the column with red X's. We know they all have to be blank. This one tells me there's four black. One, two, three, four. I'll fill in the rest with red X's. Now I know I have four black and a space. So one, two, three, four, and a space. And some of these are going to be black. Now the trick I used before, I know that I have five spaces and four have to be filled in. Four is more than half of five, so I'll count down. One, two, three, four. And I'll count up. One, two, three, four. Everything in between those two has to be filled in. I don't know if this one or that one is black, but I know for sure those three are. Here, I don't have enough information to do anything. Same thing with this one and that one. So we're getting closer. Now I'll go um, looking across and see what I can find. Um, right away I can see right here there's two, blank, two. Well here's two and two, so I know everything else in this entire row has to be blank because I have two black, 
two black. This row only has two black. They're already filled in, so I'll go across and fill in the X's. This one has three black, some blanks, and two black. Well, here's my two black, so I'll go ahead and put the, um, I'll put that there to show that there's two black. Um, now, I know that there's going to be three black over here. Three blacks can't fit inside this one space, so I know that has to be an X. And I can do my trick here. There's four blanks. There's room for three, so I'll go ahead and count across. One, two, three. One, two, three. And everything between those is filled in, even though there's nothing between them. All right, so we're getting closer. Uh, this row, it's going to be four black, a blank, and four black. Well, on this side, there's only one, two, three, four spaces, so I know all four of those have to be filled in. And on this side, there's only four spaces, so that, that row is done. This side has three black and some blanks and two black. Well, we're on the right edge here, so I know that there has to be three in a row, so I'll go ahead and put the X in. Now, I can't do my trick over here because there's four spaces and two is not more than half, so I can't do that. This row, I have a one and a one. There's one, I know that it has to be by itself, but I don't know where the other one goes. One of these could be a one, or one of these could be a one. I don't know. And with this three, I have no idea where that three goes. So now let's just look back up and down again, see what we can find. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's just, in this column, there's just two black. Well, here's one black. It has to have something touching it that's black. There's only one space. It's that one. So I'll fill in the rest of this column with the red X's. Uh, same thing here. I don't know about the two up here, but I do know that down here there has to be five. There's only room for five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're getting closer. This particular row, I know it has three blank, three blank, one. Well, here's three blank, three blank. So that tells me this one has to be one, like that. Um, my eye just came over here and I see that this has to be three black here. One, two, three. I know the rest of this row has to be filled in. Okay. And now I think I'm over this far. So let's look. I have to have two blank one. There's two big blank one. Okay. This has to be two blank one. Well, I don't know where this one goes yet. But I do see this one is here, so I'll fill it in. This has to be seven. I still don't have enough information to know where that seven goes. And, and this seven, I still don't have enough information to know where it goes. So now let's go ahead and look, um, let's look across here. This had to be three blank two. Here's my three blank and my two. I don't have enough to know there. But I do see right up here this top one had to be a two, so there's two. Two blank five. Now I know where this seven goes. It's seven across starting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That tells me that these are both black, um, blank or X's. And then this tells me right here that if there's two blank one, there's my two. Okay. Now this nine, if that's a blank, then I know that the 9 has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are 7 in a row, so that one has to be filled in. Now when I look here, these are both 7 in a row. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so far. That makes 7 and an X. That makes 7 and an X. And now the whole thing is filled in. I'll click on Done to see, and it says, yeah, I got it right. Okay. Now, um, there was one problem. I'll do another one just to give you, um, just to get a little more practice or let you see some more examples. All right, when I look at this new puzzle, the first thing I look for is a number that is bigger 
than half of 10. In other words, bigger than 5. Well, here's a 9, so I'll go ahead and do the trick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll fill everything in between in. Here's a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I don't see anything else that's bigger than, um, than half. So the next thing I'm going to do is look for um, single numbers. So going across here, here's a 2. I know that this, this has to be two black in a row. It's either those two or those two. I don't know which, but I know it's not this one, this one, this one, or this one, this one, this one, this one. So there's a good start right there. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'll do the same thing here. This is a one. I know that nothing in this row is black except for that one black one. So I'll go ahead and fill it in. Here's a 2. The same thing as with that 2. I know it can't be that one, but it... I mean, it could be these two, but it can't be these ones. So I'm getting a little closer. Now here, I could keep going down, but I see something that just showed up. I know that there has to be 5 on the bottom, and, uh, and then a space, and then 1. There's only room for 5 down here, so I'll just go ahead and fill them in. Same thing here, there's only room for 5 down here, so I'll go ahead and fill them in. There's only room for 5 down here, so I'll go ahead and fill them in. This is just 5, that's all that's in this, in this column, so I'll go ahead and fill them in. I know that everything up here has to be blank. Um, now I know that this 6 right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this, this row is done, so I'll fill that in. And then let's see what else we have. I know that this side had to be 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. A, a blank. And then one of these two is black, but I don't know which one. Now, same thing here. This one is 7 and 2. The nice thing about this is um, I could have started with this. 2 plus 7 is 9. Plus there's a blank. 9 plus 1 is 10. 2 plus 1 plus 7. This is 10. So I already knew if I had seen this right off the bat, I could have put 2 black, 1 blank, and then 7 black. Because 7 plus 1 plus 2 is 10. Uh, that's another trick that um, is a good thing to have. Alright, uh, let's just look around and see what I see. I know that some of those are white, but I don't know which ones. I know that... Okay, here's... One, two, three, don't know anything there, don't know anything here. I do know that up here, down here I'm going to have four, and up here I'm going to have two. So I know that in this space there's three blanks, I can do my trick, a countdown, one, two, one, two. Um, and so I know that that one is black. The top one or that one might be black, but I know this one is. Um, let's see here. On the bottom, I know I could do the trick again. There's, there's four and there's six blanks. One, two, three, four, five, six blanks. So if I count down four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That, that trick doesn't work there right now. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. We have a 4, a blank, and a 1. Well, here's my 4, there's my blank, and there's my 1. Everything else has to be a blank. And down here on the bottom, I have 4, and everything else is blank. And let's just see. Um, we're getting somewhere now. We should be getting pretty close to solving this. Um, on here, just to do some quick math, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8, 9, 10. This row adds up to 10, so I could have just went ahead and did 1 blank, 1, 2, 3, 4, blank, 1, 2, 3. I didn't see that initially, but that could have been another place I could have started. All right, from the top down, I have 1 blank 5, 1 blank 5, 1 blank 5. 
here I have two blank and then four. One, two, three, four. So that worked out. Here I have three on the top. One, two, three, blank, and two. So that's filled in. Here we only have one, and it's right there on top, so I'll fill everything else in. Uh, let's see. This row has a one and a one. Well, this one has to be by itself, so I'll fill in the red X. So one and one. That worked out. In this row, I know I have three and two. Well, there's three. There's two. And cross this one just to see we have seven and one. Two and two. So this one is finished. Check it out. Yep, it says I got it right. So um, there were two nonogram puzzles. So the nice thing about sites like this is you can just keep clicking on puzzle after puzzle after puzzle after puzzle and you can practice and you can get good at it. Um, this is a 10 by 10 nonogram. They're a lot of fun. Um, just Google nonograms and I hope you found this useful and have a good day.